and splashdown. Crew 9, back on Earth. A gentle splashdown off Florida's coast. A long-awaited end to an unexpected nine-month-long stay in space. The astronaut's employer breathed a sigh of relief. Now it's great to have Crew 9 and the Freedom Capsule back home, and its fourth flight is now in the history books. Of course, we're overjoyed. I, I watched every crew member come out of the vehicle today. Post-landing, it was great to watch Nick, Sonny, Butch, and Alexander come out of Dragon and, and smile and wave as they came out of the vehicle. Um, you know, we'll get them, they're on the ship now, we'll get them back uh, to meet the NASA aircraft and then back to meet with their families. What was meant to be a week-long mission aboard the International Space Station was thrown off course by a technical issue with their Boeing Starliner. Unable to reboard the spacecraft, it returned empty. For months, it remained unclear how the astronauts would return to Earth. Help arrived on Sunday when a SpaceX Dragon spacecraft from Elon Musk's company docked with the ISS. It shows the flexibility of our commercial providers. The fact that they flew up on the Boeing vehicle and home on SpaceX. This is a lesson learned for NASA too, such that when we do have Boeing and SpaceX both flying and on a regular basis, we need to be, be able to do the opposite too. If we come up on a SpaceX vehicle and have a problem to be bringing people home on a Boeing vehicle. The astronauts return gathered worldwide attention. Back in Suni Williams' ancestral village in India, people prayed for the astronauts' safe return as their 17-hour journey home unfolded. The astronauts will now head to their crew quarters in Houston for several days of health checkups.